All right, and of course, we've also been reporting on water rescues that were happening in Blunt County earlier this morning. And Russell Jones is on your side this morning, getting a firsthand look at what's happening over there. And Russell, tell us what you're seeing. Well, this is a bad spot for flooding, according to the city officials I talked to. But I want to give you an example of just how strong this flood water was this morning. You see that gray, our green dumpster over there? Well, there was another dumpster there about 2.30 this morning, and then it ended up several hundred yards that way. Yeah, just carried it right through here. And along the way, take a look at some of the other damage through here. It, the flooding just completely ripped up this pavement. I mean, it's just a mess out here. You can see these huge, ch huge chunks of pavement just completely ripped up off the ground. And it goes all this way. Now, this area was flooded really bad. I uh, spoke to uh, the city uh, rescue, uh, safety manager. He said that this was several feet deep all through this area. But this is just one little spot of the trouble. Like you said, they also had two water rescues last night. He said they had to rescue four people out of two vehicles. We're told that they're all doing fine, but just another example of how dangerous it is to try and drive through these type of floodwaters. Now, since about 2.30 this morning, I was told they've gotten anywhere from five to six inches of rain. You can see it's gone down now. Not nearly as bad, but it's been a rough night for folks here in Aniana and folks all around this area. Several areas also getting some flooding. We were in Gadsden earlier this morning. They had some strong winds, a lot of trees knocked over there. So just a rough night, but right now things look like they're a lot better, but they've got a big mess to clean up here in Aniana. Reporting live, Russell Jones, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.